we continue our study on the Gospel of Matthew. And in this uh, selection, we are going to be reading Matthew chapter 9 and verses 32 to 34. I will be reading out of the New International Bible. While they were going out, a man who was demon-possessed and could not talk was brought to Jesus. And when the demon was driven out, the man who had been mute spoke. The crowd was amazed and said, nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisee said, it is by the prince of demons that he drives out demons. A little historical background. When I originally wrote this passage, it was at the time of the appointment of Brett Kavanaugh to the United States Supreme Court. Now, I do not know what the actual truth is in the case. I'm not going to bring any new and enlightened information on it. Do I know all the facts? The answer is no. In time, we may know, have more facts to better understand what happened, or we may never really know what the truth was. When I saw the shenanigans in the process leading up to his swearing in, I felt I had seen this before. What I saw, and again I may be wrong, is one side knowing that they could not challenge this man on his credentials for the position he was being nominated for. They were, that is, his credentials, exemplary. Now that may be true, but what if you do not agree with the person's view of jurisprudence? Well, you do not attack the record. You attack the person. You attack the integrity. You, in particular, find an issue that will resonate in that time and place. You see, in the life of the church, you will discover antics that make the above seem like a summer afternoon tea party. The church can be one of the most vicious places in the world to be in. You see, there are people in the church for the church to serve them. The church is there to puff them up. They are important because of the mission work they do, because of their family heritage in the denomination, or because they hold status in the local community. The point being that these are people who use the church to their own end. People for whom the church is not about the faith. Churches can be filled with these types of people. People who come to control and dictate what is done and not done in the life of the church. A minister come, who begins to stir things up spiritually will not be appreciated. A minister who calls people to authentic discipleship will have people turn on her. Will they attack her education or her ordination? They will find some other in issue to inflame opinion against her. Women ministers are not godly, or she is post-millennial in her beliefs, or she is not visiting the shut-ins. If you find the right issue, you can destroy a person without making you look any Christian. In fact, you can destroy the person by exalting your Christian capabilities and credentials. Look at what Jesus did in this passage. Jesus set a man free from a demon, thus allowing him to speak. Could the religious leaders challenge the validity of what had happened? The answer was no. Could the religious leaders tell the crowds who were excited about what happened to put a lid on it? Could the religious leaders debate Jesus on the merits of what had happened? The religious leaders could not embrace Jesus, for Jesus was challenging their authority. The crowds were excited about Jesus and not them. The only option for, open to them was character assassination. You see, the religious leaders could not challenge Jesus on what he is and what he was about. What they could do was say, he was demon-possessed. Now, I'm not saying all of your days or all of my days in the church are going to involve times of intense conflict and vicious 
personal attacks. The church is where you will find people of faith and commitment in Jesus Christ. It is a place where you will find people who have become authentic servants of Jesus Christ. The problem is that the church is also the place where you will find the descendants, spiritually speaking, of those religious leaders who called out Jesus as a demon-possessed individual. You see, if people could savagely attack Jesus for his work and ministry, what does that say about us? today. We must not be naive to the fact that the institutional church can be a toxic environment for those who take the faith seriously. 